What's going on guys, Akuner back in another video here today to give you my reaction to this new song that came out a few weeks ago, or a few, a few about a week ago, uh, named uh, Paper Right uh, by uh, Lola Brooke, Capella Gray, Wycliffe Jean, uh, I don't know how to say that last one, uh, but a, lot, a whole host of artists, uh, and uh, I, I, uh, I heard about this song a little while ago, I definitely forgot to react to it, but... I was reminded because actually I got to see this song perform live. Actually, uh, my school had a like little presentation, uh, and uh, it was super super dope. Uh, Lola Brooke came out. <laughs> I just wanna walk, Brad, nigga with a drum. Jimmy on a stereo, I'm not into the drum. Then you get up in his arm, I'll just be gone. You know what my age is on, because it's for fun, are you dumb? Mike Lips John came out. <laughs> Rapping and like he brought white club John was rapping in like seven different languages. Lola Brooke came out uh, doing Don't Play With It, doing You, uh, and like she's a great performer. Both of them just have awesome stage presence. It was super, super fun. But I was reminded of this song, so I was like, okay, I might as well like react to it, you know what I'm saying, and like give my thoughts on it. I heard, I feel like I heard snippets, but I didn't really get the full scope of the song. Um, and apparently, push a tease on this, so I don't even. Pusha T, y'all know one of my favorite rappers, um, and Capella Gray Fire. So yeah, let's get into it. Wow, I didn't realize Wyclef from a melodic standpoint was that good. Like obviously, like you know, he was always sort of overshadowed during the the you know the Fuji's era melodically um by Lauren Hill but like he's got a decent crooning voice on him that was that even that little thing right quick I wasn't expecting I mean I heard him a little bit at the um at the concert and it sounded pretty good and I'm surprised like it, it you know it translates pretty well like this before the diamond I was in the dark where y'all chief had the double law down at the sun is shining This um this song so I went to the presentation and it was a uh, the presentation because it was it wasn't just you know the performances it was also like a uh, a bit of a podcast sort of uh you know sort of talking uh so not not TED talk but discussion of of sorts about retirement and uh saving up money in these earlier years of our lives and making sure that we can make enough money to retire at a de decent age, right? Not working until we die, uh, sort of thing. And, like, uh, so that's, I assume, what this song is going to be about. Or at least, well, I know that's what the song is going to be about because that was, like, the initiative with it. Team going to save the game for feeling aches and pain. I'm just coming off a of section eight. It cut deeper than a razor blade. They let me hang for days. You know it's up because I saved the day. Financial freedom is so fulfilling. Generational wealth is what you show the children. I like this. I like this new, like, this, this, this other side of Lola Brooke where she's very comfortable being vulnerable about her, like, you know, or in this case, her prior financial situation. But just in general, her opening up about what she's been through in her past and, you know, all that kind of stuff. I, I think it's, it really, it very much adds to, like, the, like, her her overall writing capabilities. I'm in my righteous rhythm from commenting, I got the right to pin them. I got the right to less focus on the wing, trying to flourish from the floor. Mom told me that I'm bigger than them all, so I took her to the mall. Told her to pick up the first thing she saw. I ain't forget, I still got it, change daddy on your door. I got love for the pink and red ribbon. Bless to have health and I'm living. Yeah. Take it personal on how they did me. I can't forget it. I believe in God, my whole life was written. Drinks on me, not my paper. 
Not bad. It was a cool verse. Um, I think it was definitely like, you know, you, you can definitely tell that this was a very much a verse about the message. And they were like trying to get a point across about why it is in, important to, to sort of save up money and, and why they're grateful for the wealth that they've accrued overall. She mentioned like generational wealth being the thing that, you know, you want to be able to pass down to your kids. And I, I, I agree with that. Um, like I said, you can tell this is a very much like a message based, conscious based song. And so, yeah. You can hustle to get your paper right. Long before that diamond, I was in the dark. Graveyard shift had the double R. Stood tall on the corners. Old ladies warned us so they ain't have to mourn us. Street Lord said, join us. You could turn a brick to a beam and hit some pointers. <laughs> Push a T, bro. Push a T, bro. You this get on a song, and of course he. he you can't have a push a T joint without a brick, a bar about a brick, bro. Come on, man. Oh my God, hold on, but go, go back. Oh, what, are we, what are we doing? Stood tall on the corners. Old ladies warned us, so they ain't have to mourn us. Street Lord said, join us. You could turn a brick to a beam and hit some pointers. Nowadays, I'm ignoring them. Rather build a legacy for my son that's important for him. Mm. Real estate just rewarding him. Generational wealth when I'm gone, he's still flourishing. Everybody ain't applauding him. And the money that he stack is every barbershop's argument. My elevators up, pardon him. When your name ring, they start double edged sorting him. Um, okay, so I think he's referring to like people not always being like as happy for you when you make a bunch of money. Um, or I don't either that or he's referring to like the ongoing and I don't know if he went this deep, but like this weird thing where like people talk so much about generational wealth, but then like they'll see someone who was born into generational wealth and then be mad at that person because they have the wealth that everyone has been craving. Um, yeah, I don't know which one he's referring to. Uh, but that's, that's an interesting angle to take. And obviously, you know, he's saying he doesn't have to look to the corners anymore. He's able to make a way on his own because of the money that he saved and all that good stuff. Everybody ain't applauding him. This production and him, I don't think it's, it's just interesting. It's something I've never heard before. Like, the, like Pusha T, I don't normally hear Pusha T rapping on these kinds of beats. So it's just something different for me to sort of take in. Money that he stack is every barbershop's argument. My elevator's up, pardon him. When your name ring, they start double-edged sorting them. I don't do much bargaining, so I keep a side hustle for the goals that I'm targeting. Push. Got my paper right. You can hustle too, get your paper right. Long before the diamond, I was in the dark. Graveyard chief had the double. Now this course is actually really good. I ain't gonna lie, Wyclef, and this is like a really modern sounding chorus for somebody who like is like heavily considered to be like an old head or whatever, like. This would fit fine on like um, a Don Tolliver or like a, the Kid Leroy or whomever or like a like a a, a a Burner Boy. Like this would be fine on like one of those albums. Like it was solid chorus. I think there's more airy delivery of I boo I don't know how to say her name. I'm not even gonna try. Uh yeah, I'm not even gonna try. Uh, I'm just gonna say F J. I'm just gonna say F J. Um but this more airy delivery of FJ works with the beat a lot better, in my opinion. And I really like that. I like this for this. What is Capella Gray going to do? Where is Capella Gray? I can't wait to fight. In the car that they dealt to, got to take it from the modest I could tell. I keep it real and prevail. And when I had to go fail, they know that I'm rich as hell. Shot calling since a jit. I be knowing just what to sell. Doing it for my kids, kids, generational wealth. And little old me just found to see what all of the grace. I'm investing in myself so it ain't hard to relate. I've been a lion out the jungle. The lightning that's in the thunder. It's mm. tired of what's that jungle. was tired of being under. Yeah. I like that. The rhyme scheme's got dance on that. I really like that. Um... And it's just solid motivational bars. Um, I, I don't I don't really mind motivational hip hop. I think it's it's great and like you need a little bit of that 
in your everyone should have something that is generally motivating in what they listen to and so that was that was cool Oh, Capella Gray's voice was made for this beat. God damn it. Ah, oh. yeah, he's cooking. He's gonna float. He's gonna float on this. That's what he does. He's gonna float on this. I wish Capella Gray had a bit more to offer, but it was cool. I really like what Wyclef said about feeling like, you know, as a hip hop artist for him, he feels like a, a social responsibility to be an educator. And I think that that's great for like what he for what he does and for the kind of music he's making. I think that's awesome. Um, you can tell how much effort he puts into making sure that his music is like uplifting and happy and like good to consume. Like it's it's like important music to consume. So, yeah, really enjoyed this song. Let me know what y'all thought of this in the comment section below. With that being said, peace.